What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's Oz. Let's get productive. So, I feel like the lo-fi gods have really been sending me some kind of hidden message or something. Because it really seems like lately I've been creating a lot of lo-fi music and there's been a lot of VSTs and plugins that have been coming out that is dedicated specifically for that sound. And I ain't mad. Lo-fi music is hella fun to create just because when you're making a lo-fi beat, it's very chill, very vibey, and you really don't need an artist to rap over it. Like I love composing beats that I can just play when I'm working on something or writing something or trying to concentrate on something and it can just be background music. I love playing lo-fi chill music in the car when I'm driving. And so with that being said, there's a new instrument that was created by Elementary Sounds called Remina One, which is an electric guitar, kind of vintage electric guitar, very warm, very dope sound, and it's really been giving me some amazing vibes on my lo-fi beats. I don't do a lot of reviews of guitar VSTs, just because in my experience, it's very hard to create a VST that captures the characteristics of someone playing a guitar live. So in a lot of cases, if the VST doesn't have a lot of really cool, interesting effects or, or tones and character to the guitar sound, it ends up sounding kind of flat and a little dull and you really just would rather have a live guitarist play the guitar because it just sounds so much better. There's nothing like that human aspect to it. With Remino 1, the characteristics of the sound of this VST is so different yet so vintage and warm it almost doesn't even feel like a typical electric guitar. It has a lot of interesting tones to it. And there's some other really cool things about the VST that really take it to another level. So I'm really excited to bring Remina One to this channel and we're gonna go over it right now and talk about all of the dope things. Shout out to Elementary Sounds. Let's get right into it. Let's see what this thing is all about. Remina One, let's do it. So as always, I have Logic queued up and this is Remina One. Now. Elementary Sounds has two versions of this instrument. There's a Remina 1 and a Remina 2. I'm gonna be going over Remina 1, but if you like what you see in this video, I definitely think you should head over to Elementary Sounds and check out Remina 2, because I guarantee you're gonna like that one as well. So, first thing we're gonna do is go over the UI of this thing. As always, you know I love a really cool UI, and this one is very unique because Elementary Sounds chose to go with a very cool aesthetic for their UI design. Now you notice over here on the right, you'll see this kind of um, artsy painting-esque look on the right side. So not only does it look cool, but it actually has a functionality as well for the guitar. Some of the really cool things about the UI design, and I'm gonna refer to the website because I'm not very familiar with this type of art, but it says here that the design of the plugin itself was inspired by Super Mattis Art, I guess that's a type of art and I, might, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. And it says, if you look at some of Casimir Malovic's paintings, such as Supermatic's composition or White on White, they are all to some extent chaotic, but on the other hand, united. And we tried to embody exactly the same feeling of opposition and unity in the sound of our instruments. You'll see very shortly that there's a lot of different ways you can push uh, the characteristics of this instrument to get you something that sounds very different, a bit chaotic, but very warm and together in its tone. And it does, in a lot of ways, complement the UI design itself. Now, if you look up top here, you'll see it says C, D, P, and L, different microphone parameters. So you can make adjustments to the placement and the sound of those microphones. This first microphone here is the large diaphragm Australian microphone. This second microphone here is a small diaphragm microphone. This one right here kind of gives you the sound of a pedal board. And this line right here is just a clean sound from the line of the guitar. This knob right here is your attack. This one right here is your release. This ST right here allows you to make adjustments to the air, the atmosphere in the guitar. And this right here, this TR, allows you to make adjustments to the after touch. So pretty much the sounds and the artifacts that you hear in the background um, after you release the key. Right over here, you have a low cut EQ button and a mid range EQ button that you can toggle and turn on and off. 
right here you see it says warm now if you slide this fader up you can add more warmth so it, this kind of is what it says it is and right over here where it says compressor you have the ssl bus type of compression just to make things sound a bit more solid and add a bit more glue to the overall sound you have your echo fader right here and you can toggle between three different types of echoes and you have a high pass fader to take some of the bass out of those echo sounds Right over here you have a space fader so you can add a bit of reverb to your sound and just like the echo you have three different types of reverbs and another high pass filter for that dedicated effect right there. If you click over here on the left where it says Remena, you can go through six different articulations of this guitar instrument and each articulation comes with its own characteristics, really cool stuff. So you can take one guitar instrument and make it sound like six different ones depending on how you play with the effects and the settings. If you go back to the main page, you'll see right over here on the right, this is your effects section. Now this effects section applies to all six different articulations in this instrument. So whether you pick the sustain articulation or the mute articulation, there's a different kind of characteristic you get by playing with this effects fader right here. So even though it looks cool, it looks like a painting, the painting moves. And when the painting moves, you get a whole different mood to your instrument. And like I said, each articulation comes with its own mood via the X slider. So just to give you a quick example of what I'm talking about. Right now we have sustain, right now we're on the sustain articulation. And you hear how that sounds. And if I take this, if I take the X slider and slide it up, you can hear how the sound changes. Turn some warmth, add some warmth, turn up the compression, add some space. Now if I push this button down here in the effects section, it's going to add a bit more warmth to it. So it's going to give you even more of a tape saturation sound. That's before, and this is with it on. Like I said, you can play with the X slider and get your sound sounding how you want it to sound. I can add a little bit of echo here. I like turning the low mid button on when I want to get more uh, warmth in the sound. And it's that simple. And then after you do that, you can just toggle between the different articulations of that instrument. So I can go to, that was sustain. I can go to the matte sustain sound, which is a bit more muted and has a really cool lo-fi vibe as well. Turn the vintage on on this one, add some compression, put some, view, some reverb on here. Beautiful, beautiful. You can change the positioning of the microphones on this one. You might need your headphones to really hear what's happening, but it's going from the right side to the left, being panned from the right to the left. And you can take this here. So you can really get involved with the stereo imaging and just really widen your sound. So this is an example of what I was talking about here. If I turn this fader all the way down, when I let go, nothing, just reverb and sound. If I turn the TR all the way up, when I let go, you can hear that strum from the string on the guitars. I love that. Um, if I turn this up, I just get more air in it. So it's, you know, it's a bit more crispy, a bit more pops and all of that. Um, and like I said, yeah, you have random octaves here.
And this one is really cool because all you have to do is just hold the keys. And it's gonna give you a really nice strumming effect. It's gonna give you that, it's gonna give you what it says, random harmonics. And if I hold these keys and toggle and play with the X slider, I get something really creative. So this is a really cool thing to use if you add automation, like starting off with the X slider down here and then sliding up. It's just some really cool things you can do via automation using this guitar, but I'm really loving this instrument. I'm getting some really dope things um, every single time I use this instrument. And like I said before, I'm not big on guitar VSTs, but this adds something different to that genre of VSTs. But I think that certain companies are so focused on making the guitar sound live and making it sound very real that there's nothing about it that's different. It, 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 it does sound real sometimes and it does sound live sometimes, but that's it. It just sounds like a live, a real, live guitar. I feel like this VST in the in the in the market of guitar VSTs, this one has all the charisma. Like this is like this VST is like the guy that all the girls want. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't come out trying to be like everybody else. He just has all the charisma. We went through some of the articulations. You can see how you can make adjustments to those articulations via the effects and X slider to make changes. And what we're gonna do right now is do a really quick cook up using one of these articulations and make a beat really quick and see what we can come up with to, uh, you know, do something creative with this. So maybe, I like the whole random octaves take, so let's see. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bounce this out as a wave file and then I'm going to go here and turn this polyphonic so that way I can adjust the that way I can time stretch the wave file and get those random harmonic notes hitting a bit more on beat because right now it's not time stretch it's not in sync with the tempo or anything and it's kind of flying all over the place so the loop sounds a little bit funny so i want to be able to kind of just move those random notes on beat so it feels a little more in sync with what's going on i could do something with that let me just copy and paste that a couple of times something with that and then I'm gonna go back to the Romana instrument again we're gonna pick a different guitar maybe uh, a harmonics one texture to it now now it has a nice texture there we go let me just move this uh here we go Oof. beautiful and what we're going to do for this sound is we're going to add a little bit of um record crackle 
And I'm gonna go to the uh I'm gonna go to Nathan's vibes right here. And I'm just gonna use the noise right here. already. Alright, so now we will go and add some bass. We'll add a bass line to this thing here. these pianos here this lo-fi grand piano I'm gonna add that to the second half of this beat my last note was off so let me move that So I just finished cooking up this beat using Romina 1. We're going to play it back. Let me get this on the screen just so we can have the instrument on hand. All right. So we got Romina here. Cool. And we're going to play this back and just hear what everything sounds like. And that was the beat I made using Remina 1. Now, like I said earlier, this is an electric guitar VST. That is what it does. It's not full of instruments, but what it is full of is character. That is the key word when it comes to this VST, is you're gonna get a guitar that you can really go through the articulations and come up with some and come up with some interesting melodies due to character. This thing is full of that, and I'm really loving what you can do via the X. And I'm really and I'm really loving what you can do via the X slider and just really boosting those effects, boosting that warmth, that compression, using a different microphone, positioning the microphones in different ways. There's a lot of different things you can do that seem small and seem like very minor tweaks that you can do. But those minor tweaks are the things that make your instrument sound so live and the guitars in this thing sound very live. Now, like I said earlier, I just did a review of Remina 1, but there's also Remina 2, and that has some really great characteristics as well, so I definitely think you guys should check it out. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified anytime I drop a new video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.